Nora Flatley now up on the ball. Looks like UCLA has changed their lineup about three times in the last 10 minutes. Well, as I mentioned before, they have a lot oh. of depth on this. This is the discussion here because I don't believe you can change your lineup in the middle of the rotation. Now, if somebody gets hurt, you can put another athlete in. But I think they're discussing with the referee here. That's Val Condos Field and her longtime assistant, Randy Lane. My guess is they're giving them their options, what they can do, and probably take a deduction depending on if they're vaulting out of order. Originally, we had Anna Glenn in there or Gracie Kramer. Then we heard Kendall Poston was going to get the call. And now they're putting up Nora Flatley. So literally in the last day and a half, the lineup in this spot has changed four times. And you can change that lineup up until the first athlete competes. Once they compete, you really can't change the lineup unless there's an injury. So a lot of excitement about seeing this young lady, Nora Flatley, finally. She had an extensive and outstanding elite career, former member of the U.S. elite national team. Big expectations for her now as she has transitioned on into NCAA gymnastics. And she's an absolutely beautiful, very expressive gym gymnast on balance beam and floor exercise at 411 <laughs> on the vault. Sometimes it's a, it's a little bit more difficult to generate that power, but the round off entry vault, which is the most common vault in college gymnastics right now, that round off onto the board and then back, like a giant back handspring up to the table. She's from West Des Moines, Iowa, did her club training at Chow's Gymnastics. Of course, a couple of Olympic champions came out of that gym. I believe Nora is performing a Yurchenko with a full twist. We'll be in laid out position. Judges are looking for height off the table, good pop, good, good block through the shoulders, and then distance from the table. You want to see that balance between both height and distance. You know, there's opening night jitters for everybody. Paulina Trotz score finally in a 9-8. There was some question as to whether she might have gone before she got the signal from the judges. So for the athletes and the judges, a lot of new stuff tonight. This is the first meet of the season, so we can expect a few little hiccups. So UCLA has a 9-2 from Dennis, a 9-7-5 from Grace Glenn, and a 9-8 from Paulina Trotz. So hopefully the rest of their vaults are solid because they'd like to drop that. Nia Dennis score of 9.2 if they can. Here's Flatley. Oh, a little bit of a pogo stick landing. She piped down. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know that if she warmed up on ball. They had it changed so many times. So pretty good job here. Not quite the height and distance we'll see some, from some of the bigger vaulters. And the chest was down on the landing, causing her to bounce in that tight position. She's outstanding on beam, and we'll see her there later. 